Thank you for your singing. You may be seated. This is uh, one of those weekends where really the needs of our nation come to mind as we celebrate our Independence Day and we see all of the patriotic things happening around us and all of those kind of things. And today I want to invite you to just a special focus in prayer on our, our country and kind of as a, a symbol kind of of your kind of new looking and new kind of focus in this prayer. I I'd invite you, if you're able and uh, willing, to maybe just kind of step, slip off your seat and, and kneel in your, in your seat, right there where you're seated, kind of, about, just something about a new posture, a place of letting our, our body even take an unusual, unusual shape, kind of a humbling moment as we think about God's work and God's plan for our, our country. Heavenly Father, we do just bow together. We pray for our, our nation, for the United States of America. Lord, we thank you for the blessings that you have given, for the opportunities that have come because we were born in this country. And we've benefited so much from the heritage of those that have gone before us. And Father, we recognize that we're so undeserving of these privileges. And Father, we also know that those privileges come with real responsibilities and real concerns for this day and for the days to come. Lord, we would look to our own hearts and ask again that you would help us to be able to sense your voice in your presence as we live as citizens in this country, as we uh, think of the, the needs represented in our country and the, uh, the leaders that you've granted to us and the choices that lie before us. Father God, would you help us to live as your people, able to serve well your cause in our country. And we think of just the challenges that face our our nation, whether that's uh, moral issues or legal issues, security issues, all of those kind of things that are part of living in the America today. Father, we pray for uh, those elected leaders of ours, for President Obama and for uh, the, the ones that surround him in the decision-making process in our nation's capital. And again, we ask that you would grant them your mercy ability to know just what you're saying and how the decisions affect our world today for those that are seeking to serve you as your men and women in those places of decision. Lord, would you grant them wisdom and discretion. Help them to be able to live with integrity and with the sense of responsiveness to your voice, that their influence can be multiplied by your presence in their in their. Uh, places of uh, business. Lord, we think of the challenges that lie before us as your people within this nation. And the elections soon to come, and the different leaders that will take their place. And we would again ask that you would grant us leaders that would take the path that honors you and that would hear clearly your voice and directions and, and to be able to bring justice and mercy again to the fore of our nation. Again, Lord, we bow before you on behalf of our country, and we call on you to work among us, to grant us a fresh new sense of your presence and of your Spirit's work flowing through you, our hearts and, and our church and the churches that bow before you. 
Lord, would you make your cause and your work among us clear that your voice can again reach out into the streets and call people again to your, your place and to your work and to your way. Lord God, thank you. Thank you for the privilege of praying for our country. Thank you for the work that you're about and the place you have for each one of us. Lord, would you now, just to continue to open our hearts to your presence among us. And Lord, this morning we would ask again that we can be good and faithful servants of yours in the days that you have given us to live. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for joining with me in prayer. Let me invite the ushers to come at this time and receive the morning offering. Thank you.